Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily design amazing PCBs for your DIY projects in minutes. In the past few videos, we have been creating a lot of interesting DIY projects, right? A lot of Arduino projects, robotic projects, Halloween decorations, we even built our own Arduino boards. There, we used an amazing tool called Altium to draw the circuit and design the PCB layout. A lot of young subscribers tried the free trial of Altium and they really came up with a lot of amazing PCB designs. Some of them asked me to create a beginner's tutorial on designing a PCB layout for their projects using Altium. That's exactly what we are going to do today. In today's video, we will be giving you step-by-step -step complete instructions on using Altium to design your PCBs for your hobby projects. By the end of this video, you should be able to easily design and create your own PCBs for your projects. So, let's get started. So, the first thing to do is download the software. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, this is gonna be really useful for you. Altium is an amazing PCB designer with so many user-friendly tools and amazing features like centralized cloud storage and online collaboration. You can design and create your own PCBs for your projects and share your ideas across your network. And believe me guys, it's very easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. So, the first job is to download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And the best part is, you will also get a 6 months full license if you are a student. Pause the video, go ahead, download and install and come back to this video. Once you have downloaded and installed it, just open the software. So, when you open Altium, you should see something like this. On the left side, you should see a window named Projects and you should see a space in the middle like this. So in the left side window, you should be able to see all the projects that you have created and you have worked on. So if you expand a project, you should be able to see all the files that are linked to this project. And if you want to open a file, simply double click on that. See? So we can close this project and create a new project. For that, go to File, New and create a project. So let's give it a name, custom Arduino and click on create. As you can see here, a new project has been created. In order to design a PCB, we will need two files. One is the schematic file, that is where we will be drawing the circuit and the other is the PCB file, that's where we will be drawing the PCB design. So let's create a new file. To create a new file for a project, simply go to that project right click on that add new to project and select schematics to create a new schematics file okay so here you can see a new schematics file has been created this is where we will be drawing the circuit okay next we will need to create a pcb file for that again go to this project right click on that go to add new project create a pcb file right here so simply click on that and here you can see a new PCB file has been created. Okay, So we will be drawing the circuit in the schematics file. So go to the schematic files and now we can start adding the components. Before you start adding the components to your circuit and design the final PCB, it's always a good idea to have a good knowledge of the components such as specifications, availability as well as the price. For that, I would recommend this site called Octopod. Octopod is an amazing free electronic component search engine. You can use Octopod to get details such as distributor, pricing and availability. You can also use Octopod to find the components that meet your requirement. You can even purchase the component by clicking the link here itself. It's a free solution for most of our problems and you will get everything in one place. This is also gonna be really useful for you guys, so make sure you check it out. Now, we will start adding the components. In order to make our Arduino board, we will need a microcontroller which in this case is Atmega328. But the microcontroller can't operate without the bare essentials. In order for it to function, it will need a minimal amount of component setup. To set up a bare minimal circuit, we will need an Atmega328, an input voltage of 5V, a 16MHz crystal oscillator, an LED, a resistor and two capacitors. Here in the schematics file, on top you should see a toolbar like this. And right here, you should see a yellow icon. It's called place part. When you click on that, another window will open. This window will contain the list of all the components that you can add to your project. 
and when you click on a component you should be able to see complete details about that component including the symbol as well as the footprint before you add a component make sure that the component that you selected have a valid footprint available that is very important so let's add our first component the led to add an led simply click on this search bar search for led and here you should see the list of all the leds that are available some of them are smds and some of them are through hole so select the right one okay this one looks good to me to add this component to the schematics file simply right click on that and click on place led and here you can see the cursor has changed okay so to place it here simply left click on the canvas see the command has been placed now Let's follow the same steps to add a resistor. So go to search, type resistor, hit enter. And here you should see the list of all the resistors that are available. So this one looks good to me. Let's add it to the canvas. Simply right click, place. And the cursor has changed. Now, if you want to rotate this component, simply press spacebar. See, the component has rotated 90 degree. So let's place it here left click okay good now let's add atmega 328 ic go to search type atmega 328 and hit enter as you can see here this component is not available in this library in that case you can search for additional components from other manufacturers for that simply click on this manufacturer part search and here you should see additional components and if we take a look at this component and check the footprint yes this is exactly what we want so to place this component simply right click click place and let's place it in the canvas to add or remove additional manufacturers simply click on this gearbox right here click on part providers preference and this will open up this window and right here you should be able to see the list of all the suppliers and if you want to select or deselect you can simply do that by clicking on this box right here now let's add the crystal oscillators and the capacitors Now, we have added all the components for this simple circuit. Now, we need to add a 5V power supply and an earth connection. To add a 5V supply, go to this icon, simply right click on that and select plus 5V power port and simply click on the canvas. Now, to add a ground, simply right click here, place ground power port and simply place it here. Now, Let's give all these components a proper name. So first zoom in. Uh, yeah, in order to zoom in and zoom out, simply click and hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse up and down. See? Now, to give this resistor a proper name, simply double click on that 
and in this window we can give a proper designation let's name it r1 and if we want we can change the value as well so let's double click on this and change the designation and do the same with all the components you can even hide or unhide the comment as well for example if you take a look at this component you should see able to see a comment like a10 with the part name okay so if you want to hide it you can simply click on this i button right here see now the comment has been hidden now let's connect different components together and draw the circuit in altium to connect different components there are two ways one is using wire tool and the other is using net labels to connect different components using wire tool simply right click here and select wire and now you can click on the terminal of the component you want to connect and now you can see a wire is being placed right now simply click on the terminal of the component that you want to connect to okay see a wire has now been placed we can do the same for all the remaining components in order to connect different components using net labels simply right click here and select net labels let's say i want to connect this pin number 19 to this terminal of resistor for doing that simply click on this terminal and create a net label there let's give this net label a name let's name it led pin and hit enter here you can see a net label has been created at this pin all right now to connect this pin to this terminal simply create another net label right here and here in this properties click on this drop down and select led pin here you can see both these terminals are having the same net labels that means both of them are connected now let's connect all the components together i am speeding it up since i am doing the same thing but when you are drawing schematics please take your time All right the bare minimum circuit is now ready once you power up the atmega 328 it will work but that's not enough is it we will be making it more stable versatile and more useful let's make it closer to the real arduino board let's add some more components here i have added a few more components and some headers so that the arduino looks more like the original arduino and also we can use all the gpio pins for our projects so the circuit is now complete Now let's design the PCB. There is another awesome feature that I would like to show you. There is something called Altium 365 that comes free with Altium subscription. With Altium 365, you can design, share and manufacture and do anything related to your project in the same space without any extra effort. You can also share your design and ideas and easily collaborate with your teammates or even clients with secure centralized cloud storage. Now let's design the PCB. For that First thing we need to do is save this file. Press Ctrl plus S. Give this a name and click on save. All right. Now, to add this to the PCB file, go to design and click on update PCB document. Simply click on that. Make sure you select all the components and all the nets. All right. Now, click on validate changes. Make sure there are no errors. and click on execute changes all right now click on close now we are in the pcb file here you can see all the components have been added here now if you take a look at this canvas you should be able to see a gray area and a black area the black area is the shape of our pcb Now if you want to create your own shape for your PCB simply go to this drawing tool right click on that and click on any tools you want for the time being i will select rectangle draw a rectangle but you have to make sure that all the components and the route will fit right inside the rectangle all right now select the rectangle go to design board shape and click on define board shape from selected objects okay the board shape has now changed now we can simply click and drag all the components inside the pcb
All right, here, as you can see, I have arranged all the components inside the PCB. Now, one thing you should keep in mind is, every board has a top layer and a bottom layer, and sometimes there will be some layers sandwiched in between. In this case, we have a top layer and a bottom layer. So, when you place a component, you have to make sure that you are placing the component in the right side. For example, when you consider this LED right here, you should be able to see layer as top layer. That means, this LED is in the top layer of the board. That is where we will be soldering this component. So, if you want to change it to bottom layer, simply click on that and click on bottom layer. Here you can see, the label has mirrored, right? For the time being, we don't want that. Let's take it back to the top layer. Click on that, click on the layer and click on top layer. Alright, now let's route all the connections. Okay, now in order to route the components, go to this routing tools, right click on that and here you can see a lot of different routing tools available for routing. For the time being, let's select interactive routing. Once you click that, you can see the cursor has changed, right? Now, zoom in. Now, let's connect this terminal of the resistor to the cathode. For that, simply click on this terminal. And here you can see a route is being placed. And if you want, you can click somewhere to place a point. From there, you can click on the terminal of the LED. See, a route has been placed now. One thing to note is, currently the route is red in color. That means the routing is on top side of the board. If you want to draw a route on the bottom side of the board, you can simply do that by clicking on this layer drop down and select bottom layer. Alright? So, now let's route all the components. Okay guys, now our PCB is ready. Now, if we zoom out and take a look at the PCB, we can see that there is a lot of empty space around the components, right? So we can edit the board shape. For that, press on 1 to enter the board planning mode and from the top menu, design, edit board shape. Now you can simply edit the board shape by simply clicking and dragging the points around the board. Okay, this one looks good to me. Now, we can go back to the previous view by pressing number key 2. Now, if you want, you can add text and images to our PCB. To add text, click on the string, click on the position where you want to apply the string and press escape. Now, double click on the string and under the text, you can change the text. We have, okay, we have placed the text now. To rotate it, simply press on spacebar. So basically, this is how you draw a circuit and design a PCB layout for your DIY projects using Altium. There is a lot of amazing DIY projects tutorials in our channel, so make sure you check it out. You're gonna love it. To see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. See you in the next video.